this is our primary egg collection facility for Chinook salmon and in most years we'll collect 100% of the eggs that we need for our Wisconsin Chinook salmon stocking in Lake Michigan right here from this facility. Chinook salmon are not native to Lake Michigan. They were introduced in the late 1950s and the reason, one of the reasons that they were introduced is because an invasive species, the, the sea lamprey, got into Lake Michigan and in the late 1950s sea lamprey was one of the major contributors to the collapse of the lake trout population in Lake Michigan to the point where lake trout were pretty much wiped out of Lake Michigan. Um, without a top predator in the system, uh, another invasive species, the alewife, was able to come into Lake Michigan and their population abundance exploded to the point where there were way too, there were tons and tons of alewife in Lake Michigan. So that created an opportunity then, once sea lamprey were somewhat controlled, it created an opportunity where management agencies were able to go in and stock predators back into the system. Uh, native predators like lake trout, but we also stock non-native fish like snook salmon, coho salmon, and brown trout. At the beginning of the day, we'll crowd the fish down to the end of the pond, and then we'll then use a hoist and a basket to lift a basket of fish up and, and get the fish onto our sorting table. Uh, Chinook salmon, part of their natural life history is that they die. They spawn once and they die. So we'll actually knock them out before we handle them just because it's easier to handle those fish. So we'll put them in a tank that has CO2 bubbled into it. That pretty much kills the fish. But then we'll also run them through our fish stunner machine, which just gives them a quick blow to the head to, to, to knock them out. Uh, that makes them easier to handle. From there, the fish goes through our biological data collection station, where we collect a lot of different data and information on those fish that we can use to help guide our management decisions for Lake Michigan. We'll collect length, weight. We look at all the, the fish for fin clips. We collect tags from the fish. Uh, we also look for lamprey scars and wounding rates. Once we're done collecting that basic biological information, the fish will get sent to the hatchery, where the hatchery will collect the eggs, they'll fertilize the eggs, and ultimately the, the eggs will get trucked back to our hatcheries. Um, the two main hatcheries that we use is, um, well, the main hatchery is Wild Rose. They take the vast majority of our Chinook salmon eggs, and a smaller number of eggs go to our Kettle Moraine Springs hatchery. So the hatchery will raise those fish till they hatch out, and they'll raise them up until they're spring fingerlings, and in the spring, we'll stock those fish back out into the lake, or in this case, right here into Strawberry Creek. We have a lot of carcasses here at the end of the day that we need to dispose of, and it's, it's great that pretty much all the carcasses get used. Some of the carcasses will go to, a, to local food pantries. Some of them go to rafter rehabilitation centers where they're used to feed eagles and hawks and other birds. And then a, a large quantity of the fish will actually go to a, a local comp using the fish or using the fish for animal feed. We also have a contract with a bait dealer who, who takes some of the excess eggs and uses them to uh, for fishing bait. So again, everything that we use here gets gets used.